Hey guys, Jason here with Quantum Courses, and in this tutorial, we'll be going over how to easily add drop shadows to your text and images using Canva. When creating designs, it's the little details that can help your work stand out and take your designs from good to great. One way to make your designs pop is to add eye-catching drop shadows to your text and images. Not only can drop shadows improve the look of your designs, but can also allow text to be read and images to be seen more easily when used over similar colors. In this video, we'll be going over several methods you can use to easily add drop shadows to your text and designs in Canva. This includes using the Canva text effects, the Canva shadows app, and how to manually add shadows to Canva graphics and image uploads. But in order to access all of the Canva tools and features, you'll need to have a Canva Pro account. With Canva Pro, you can access the entire Canva library of images and graphics, unlock all of the professional design templates, access the background remover tool, and tons of other tools and features to help you create awesome content. To unlock your free trial of Canva Pro, make sure you head over to jasongandy.info or simply click my link in the video description. In my opinion, Canva is a must-have tool for any designer, marketer, or entrepreneur. So now that you've unlocked Canva Pro, let's head over to Canva and go over how to add drop shadows to your designs and text. First, let's start by creating a new design. To do this, I'm going to go up to the right hand side here and click the create a design button. From the drop down menu, let's go down and click the custom size icon at the bottom. Here's where you can enter the width and the height in pixels for the project that you want to create. For my example project, I'm just going to make it 1500 by 1500 pixels. When selecting your dimensions, make sure you select dimensions that are best for your product or wherever else you're uploading your design to. So once you select your dimensions, go ahead and click on create new design. This will open up a new Canva template where we can create and edit our designs, including, of course, adding drop shadows. But before we start creating shadows, let's make my template a bit bigger and change the background color. White is probably best for viewing the shadows, but I think it's a bit bland. This color here looks a bit more lively, so I think I'll use this. So the first thing I want to go over is how to add drop shadows to your text using the Canva text effects. So let's go over to the text tab, add a heading to my template, and add some example text for my drop shadow demonstration. There we go. So let's go over how to add a shadow to my top text. When you select your text element, you should see a menu pop up at the top here. To add our drop shadow, let's select the effects tab. This will open up a menu on the left hand side where you can add all sorts of style effects to your text. To add a drop shadow, we're going to select the second option, which is the shadow option. When you select this, a default shadow will be added to your text, but you have various options here in the left hand side menu to adjust your shadow however you like. Personally, I like to start by adjusting my shadow color. The default shadow color will be your text color, but for my shadows, I typically like to use black. So I've selected my shadow color, but it's still a bit hard to see. That's because the transparency is currently set at 40. But we can easily adjust the transparency of our shadow using the slider bar here. Having a lower transparency will allow objects behind your text to be seen through your shadow. So for this example, I think I'll just leave my transparency around 68. If you want to adjust the offset of your shadow from your text, you can use the top slider bar here. This will determine how far away your shadow is from your actual text. I don't need my top text to stand out too much, so I think I'll leave my offset around 44. Underneath your offset slider, you can also adjust your shadow direction. This will determine whether you want your shadow to appear at the top, the bottom, or the sides of your text. Remember that when selecting your shadow direction, you typically want to use the same direction for all the elements on your project, unless some objects are lit by separate light sources. And finally, one of my favorite effects you can add to your shadow is the blur. You can use the blur to create some really cool effects when adding shadows to your designs. But keep in mind, if you're adding a blurred shadow to products like t-shirts, the ink may not print the blur correctly and it may look a bit fuzzy. But for graphic design work, adding a blur can be really cool. So I've added a shadow to my top text. Now let's go ahead and add a shadow to my bottom text as well. For my bottom text, I'm going to adjust the offset, 
the transparency, and the blur. Feel free to take your time and adjust your shadow until you get everything exactly the way you want. So that's an example of how to add shadows using the Canva text effects. The next method I want to demonstrate is how to add shadows with the Canva Shadows app. Using the Canva Shadows app, you can easily add shadows to your photo uploads or photos you get from the Canva library. So as an example, let's go to the Canva library from the Elements tab and search for planets. This method will only work for items in the Photos tab, so let's click the Photos tab up top here. I can now scroll through the results here and find a good photo to use for my shadow example. Canva does have some free images in their library, but to access all the images, you'll need to have a Canva Pro account. So for this example, let's select this Canva Pro image here. Now that I've added the photo to my template, let's access the Canva Shadows app by selecting the photo, then going up to the top menu here and clicking on Edit Image. From the Edit Image menu on the left, we can scroll all the way down until we get to Shadows. So let's click on See All on the right here so we can see all the different types of shadows we can add to our photo. As you can see, the Canva Shadows app has six different shadow types available. We have Glow, which will add a glow effect around the edges of your image. Drop, which will add the typical drop shadow. Angle, which will give you an angled drop shadow. Curve, which will show a curved shadow at the bottom of your image. Page Lift, which will give the effect of your photo lifting off the background and backdrop, which will make it look like your image is standing up on the page. Once you select the shadow style, you'll be able to select the center of the icon to access more options. And just like with the Canva text effects, we can adjust our color, our blur, our transparency, and our offset, but with this shadow, we can also adjust the curve. So feel free to adjust your shadow as much as needed, and once you're finished, go down to the bottom and click on apply. And I've just added a cool looking curved drop shadow to my space image here. This not only works for photos, but if you upload a transparent image or find a transparent image in the Canva library, you can also use the Canva Shadows app to add a drop shadow. This will really make your images pop and help you create some really eye-catching designs. So the next thing I want to go over is how to add a drop shadow to Canva graphics. For the graphics elements on Canva, you can't simply use the Shadows app, so we'll have to get creative. So let's find a graphic by going to the Elements tab, then searching for Earth. Underneath the search bar, we can then select Graphics to see only the Canva graphics. On Canva, you can access thousands of graphics for almost any topic. They have some free graphics, but to access all the graphics, you'll need a Canva Pro account. So for this example, let's just select this Canva Pro Earth image here. For many of the graphics on Canva, you can use the tools to change the graphic colors. So let's select my Earth here, go up to the toolbar, and use the color icon to change the Earth to green. So now that I have a green Earth, let's go over how to add a shadow to my graphic. If we select my graphic and go up to Edit Image, you'll notice that we don't have the same options as we did with the photos. This means we can't simply use the Canva Shadows app to add our drop shadow. But where there's a will, there's always a way. To add a shadow to our graphic, let's start by right clicking the image, then click on Duplicate. You can adjust the duplicate if needed, but make sure you keep it the same size. With our duplicate selected, we can then go up to the top toolbar and select the Colors tab. And of course, let's change the color to black to represent our shadow. I can then go up to the position tab at the top right and move my new shadow behind my graphic. And voila, my graphic now has a shadow. If I like, I can even go up to the transparency icon here and use the slider bar to add some transparency to my shadow. Although we can't adjust the blur with this method, we can still manually adjust the color, the transparency, and the direction of our drop shadow. And for our final example, let's go over how to upload an image, remove the background, and manually add a drop shadow to the remaining item. For your image uploads, you could use the Canva Shadows app, but this is just another method I sometimes like to use when designing. So let's upload an example image by going to the Uploads tab on the menu on the left hand side, then click on the Upload Files tab. I can then find my image, open it up, and add it to my project. So for this example, I want to use the moon for my design, but I want to remove the background. Luckily, 
With the Canva Pro account, we can access the background remover tool to remove the background in a single click. Simply select your photo, go up to edit image, then go down to background remover. The background will then be magically removed from the main object in your photo. If you need to edit your image, you can use the erase or restore brush on the left hand side, but I think this looks pretty good. So let's go down to the bottom and click on apply. Now that I've removed the background from my moon, let's go over how to manually add a drop shadow. Just like we did with the Canva graphic before, let's select the image, then copy and paste it, or simply duplicate it. Let's delete the extra duplicate here, and now I have an image to use for my shadow. So let's select the duplicate, then go up to Edit Image. This time, instead of using the Canva Shadows app, let's go down to the Adjust section here. Here's where you can adjust your image in several ways to create some really cool effects. To create my shadow, let's start by turning the brightness all the way down, the contrast all the way up, the saturation all the way down, then I'm gonna scroll all the way down to the bottom and turn the shadows all the way down to make it a bit darker. These are the settings I use to manually create a basic shadow, and then I can go up to the top right, click on position, then move it behind my object. And voila! Here's a simple shadow for my moon. If you like, you can also use the adjust menu to add blur or other effects to your shadow as well. And if you wanted to adjust your shadow transparency, you can go up to the transparency icon at the top right here and use the slider bar to adjust your transparency. So take your time and adjust your shadow until you get it exactly the way you want. And once you're finished, you can use your new images and text with drop shadows to create some awesome designs and artwork. So that's a quick overview of several ways to add drop shadows to your designs and text using Canva. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.